speaking to you from Television Centre, where I've been seeing some of the programmes that are being prepared for your enjoyment this coming autumn. I hope in a few moments to be able to have a few words with someone who's probably television's top drama director. Uh, uh, right, ready, uh, ready, uh, action! <laughs> and I don't never not wish to not see you never more again either, so there. <laughs> Thank you, Dame Edith. <laughs> that was delightful. You and Sir Michael go and have a coffee, and I'll deal with Sir Rachel. Mr. Scott. Oh, I'm... What's we on the... I'm... Hello, viewers. I had no idea we were long, sir. Well, here he is, a very controversial figure, BBC's top television director, Mr. Fred Scuttle. Mr. Jean-Paul Scuttle, if you don't mind. Jean-Paul Scuttle? Yes, sir. I was named after the existing sensualist, Jean-Paul Satire. <laughs> I see. Well, of course, your productions cover a very large field, and... Of course, sir, uh, uh, I've done my piece de resistance, sir. Oh. My own play, what I written myself, sir. Yes. Oh, it was a big success, my own play. It was a success. Oh, didn't you hear the critics on Sunday afternoon? Uh, no, I can't say I did. Twelve, ten, every Sunday, they're on. What, they went, they went, they were so excited about it, sir. The Spanish one, sir, Ricardo Oranges. <laughs> the second my play was mentioned, he went straight into the Castilian. <laughs> Knockers, senior rotor, he said. <laughs> and as soon as the leading lady was mentioned, he couldn't contain himself, sir. Bother me mucho, he said. <laughs> well, you see, it was well received. Well, now, sir. tell me, Mr. Scuttle, what was your play about? Well, sir, it, it's about an introverted extrovert, sir. <laughs> who has an Oedipus complex, sir. Oedipus? He hates cats. <laughs> So one day he goes round and calls on a friend of E's who is a taxidermist, you see. And this taxidermist is just finishing off a Siamese cat. Now, this fella, over his name was, sir, he comes in and he sees this Siamese cat. He goes berserk, sir. He picks up a bar, advances towards it. The taxidermist says, what are you going to do with that Siamese cat, mate? He said, I'm going to give it a Bangkok. And he talks about it. <laughs> Down like that, well, it tell me. the stuffing out of it, sir. What's yes. the denouement? The what, sir? The denouement. Oh, the upshot. <laughs> this vicious attack on this cat rids himself of his hatred of cats, but conversely, it instills into him the belief that he himself is a cat, you see, sir. See, does this, uh, does this have an effect on him? <laughs> of course it does, sir. I mean, uh, you know, and the, the, the larder's full of fish heads, sir, and that's <laughs> full of milk. I mean, he never takes a bath. He won't go near water, because like a cat, he's terrified of water. You see, he's like a cat in every way, sir, you see. But uh, how does he clean himself? <laughs> With difficulty. <laughs> As a matter of fact, sir, it was that scene that got us the critics' award, you know. <laughs> really, you mean the newspapers, they like that. They went mad about it. Peter Black. State, and I quote, if I had not seen it with my own eyes, I would not have believed it. And Clifford Davis referred to it as poetry in motion. Yes, well, thank you very much, Mrs. Guttle. That was all most uninteresting. Now, I believe we're privileged to be able to see the first of your new science fiction series. Yeah, I think the lads are threading it up now, sir. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, it'll be very